and what was the change in the um, like you've talked about changing the plants and changing the microbes what was the change that you could physically see in terms of the bird and wildlife in the area well uh, the University of New England at Armadale came down and Tim's got a national park next door and they did all their research on the whole ecology and the ecological outcome on Tim's place even though he was also running stock um, was far better than the national park next door. Wow, that's amazing. Well, what, what, what happens with national parks is they, and, unless they're like a rainforest or something, if in a, in a, uh, most of our environment dries chlorophyll forests and everything, they've got to be managed and they become, when you don't do any management at all, they become moribund. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the system's not working, you know, they're, and uh, and so and that's the case with a hell of a lot of national parks in Australia. They're they're, they're actually an ecological disaster. And, um, and and then a fire comes along and and does enormous amount of damage. So is the, is the idea? Do you feel that we should be following the uh, more ancient Aboriginal methods of fire burning, or do you think we should be introducing large animals through the forests? Bit of both. Absolutely. Like the animals, I mean, the Aborigines used fire, yeah, the, it's, it's documented. Once those big animals left the landscape 30, 40,000 years ago, and, and so they had to replace what the animals were doing with fire. Like they learned how to use fire in a, in a really good way to get all sorts of outcomes. And the women did most of that. They they were out there every day burning little patches and they damped down the fire with brush or something to make sure it didn't get too hot or whatever and, and they they would be looking around all the time wondering looking at different plants and saying okay well, well that tree there can stay this one's going to go we're going to do this because when we come back in six months time there'll be a heap of of, of uh, yam lilies there or something, you know, they had it all worked out. And, um, and but animals are actually got an advantage over fire in that managed properly, they actually get a better outcome than what you did with the fire. So, but a bit of both in a forest, like in a national park probably wouldn't hurt, but, but having animals there managed properly um, you'd see enormous uh, outcome where you probably didn't need to use as much fire once you've had... And, and, and would that be necessarily an expensive thing for a government to have to manage, putting animals through the land? No, well, uh, people would probably pay the government to do it. 